What is the perfect weapon for home defense? What's going on guys? I hope everybody is doing great. Today I wanted to talk about what weapon I use for home defense, what's in my nightstand, what's beside my nightstand, and why I chose it and talk about some pros and cons of some firearms to use and not to use. So the first firearm I wanna talk about of what I personally do not like is shotguns. I do not think shotguns are a great home defense firearm. That being said, they make the shorter shotguns, the shock waves, the TAC-14s, and they have longer shotguns and stuff, your hunting shotguns, your Benelli's, whatever. I try to stay away from shotguns and I'm not a fan of them for home defense. Say you're longer shotgun that's if that's all you have understand but say your longer shotgun your hunting shotguns your benelli's your just regular 870s they are long and that being said a gun is is if a gun is really long and you're trying to come around a corner or to poke your head out you're gonna have to come up and as soon as you come up if they if that threat is behind that wall or that corner guys that is easy the longer the barrel the longer the stock grip whatever that's gonna be easier for someone to grab, push away, and then you're gonna be in a fight. They might, they're probably gonna have a gun, a knife at least, something. So shotguns are too long, and that's why I just not like them. I know there's smaller ones, the Shockwaves and the Tac 14s. They are smaller, but then let's go into the next thing why I don't like shotguns. I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be using birdshot for your, your shell of choice in a shotgun for home defense, unless you're bird hunting, but not using birdshot and buck and slugs that's just a, a no bueno for me you got to think about it. if you're using a shotgun using that slug or buckshot whatever you're using think about what is behind you that is i mean yes you're going to get that adrenaline going and it's going to be it's going to be intense but you're trying to stop your target but you also don't want to hit what is behind your target and say if you miss that slugs gonna go through that wall, whatever, buckshot. What is, is there anybody, kids, family, friends, roommates, whatever, what is behind that target or behind that wall if you miss? Are you gonna hit a loved one? You're gonna hit a friend? So that's why I do not like shotguns for those reasons. And another thing is magazine capacity. You're running, you're looking at probably four to eight, 10 shots, depending on if KFCs have more, obviously but you're looking very low on magazine capacity. But yes, it is gonna make a massive hole and you should only need one or two shots if you miss. It's gonna spread a little bit, but I just don't like shotguns and that is why I personally do not use them for home defense. Going down of another firearm that I try to stay away from for home defense. I used to have it beside my nightstand for the longest time, but after doing more research, and shooting, and watching other people's videos on YouTube, I stay away from them is AR-15s and AR-15 pistols. Not AR-9s, but AR-15 pistols. Same thing with the shotgun. If you're using your 16 standard inch barrel AR-15 or 14.5 pin welded, whatever you're using, your DMR, whatever, that is a longer barrel. So I, it's to be mobile, the mobility sucks for longer guns. I, that's why I do not like them. I'm all about tight spaces. What can I do right here and not expanding expanding my space and having to move more and fight more whatever the case may be i like to be tight running where i'm doing the pistol other stuff i like being compact so i can move around a corner easier if there's more than one threat i can hopefully disengage more than one threat if i have to go hands-on restrain somebody whatever the case is make sure it's not a massive space with the firearm you are using so ar-15 rifles don't like them AR pistols, yes, you can go a little bit smaller. You got from your 12.5 down to say your 300 black ops, you got like your seven inches, or the Maxim PDX, the five and a half, whatever it is, that is gonna be smaller. That is better if you want to be mobile and you can move a lot easier. But that being said, your AR-15s, you're using 5.56 most likely, two, three, whatever, or you got your 300 blackout, got your other cartridges out there, that is still overkill. That 556, that 55 grain, 75, whatever you're using, your ammo of choice you're using for home defense, that is gonna be moving quick and that is gonna go straight through somebody and hit whatever's behind you. 
Say if that person is coming in your bedroom at that time, you had a couple seconds to grab what you got, what's near your weapon of choice, your home defense gun. What if your kid walks out the room behind him and, or her, and you shoot your target, you drop them, then you look beside and you see your kid laying on the ground. You gotta watch what is behind your target. Same thing as if you're at a restaurant and wherever you are in public, that's why most people use hollow points in their pistols. I do not know anybody that uses FMJs as carry ammo in your pistol. If you do, you are a dumbass. Yes, I said it. But make sure you know what is behind you. Don't want to end up taking out the threat, taking out a loved one, because that will be really bad at the end of the day. Now, I'm going to discuss what I personally like best for home defense, and that is two options. You have your basic pistol, your handguns, also, what I have beside my nightstand, that if I can grab it, and after I put a light on, this will be my new one, but is my MPX. I love sub guns. This is, I run an eight to nine inch barrel, I believe, eight and a half. But I like sub guns. What I said about mobility, this is not sticking out this much like an AR or a shotgun. Shotgun's way out more. But if I want to collapse the brace, I could use it as cheek, whatever, but this is my preferred and your basic handguns of what a great home defense firearm is. Sub guns are my favorite, but since I don't have a light right now, am I gonna grab this if I have to go downstairs, if I have to go clear the house? Getting a light soon, so this will be more, but sub guns, talk about them. Like I said, I already discussed, I'm gonna keep discussing about it and repeat myself 20 times like I always do on every video. Sorry about that, but I like to be on a move. Whenever you're taking a corner or you're peeking, whatever you're doing, coming up, it's gonna be a lot harder unless someone is very close to you and they're just gonna basically, your guns will be pushed on your chest. But if you have to take a quick corner and you someone's already there, you can easily jerk this back. It's light, it's not long, it's very short barrel. You can maneuver this a lot better going around your corner, say if you're walking down stairs, whatever, and it's not slamming around, hitting the wall, making noise that's also a good thing is noise. Do you want to be heard or do you not want to be? That is gonna be till there's pros and cons of both of that. I personally, if I yell, I could yell, hey, law enforcement is on the way, whatever. Do you wanna do that? That's, that's a discussion we'll get into another video, but I want to be quiet. So nothing, make sure nothing's jingling on your, on your firearm of choice, whatever, making noise, hitting walls, rails, so I personally love sub guns. All my guns are nine millimeter. So yes, that is unloaded. But yes, so sub guns are perfect for self-defense. And also with this, my MPX, this is 30 round, it's a 30 round magazine. Are you one of those people that keep three, four or five different mags beside you? I'm not bashing people that do, but with a 30 round magazine, I'd say I'm probably gonna be in my boxers just waking up, I can put on shorts, t-shirt, whatever, but I'm not gonna have anywhere or enough time to grab another mag, and I'm damn sure I'm gonna stick one of my boxers and fall out, fall on the stairs, make noise, but 30 rounds, whether it be one threat, whether it be five or six, I am 99% sure I can stop the threat or threats in that situation with one 30 round magazine. Going back to the shotguns, you have from anywhere from five to 10 shells in the tube. Don't like it. Your ARs, yes, you got 30, whatever. You can put extensions on here, get bigger mags, the Terran Tactical Base plates, have more. But 30 rounds will be plenty to stop a threat or multiple threats in your residence. And last, let's talk about handguns. Why I love a handgun for home defense. Right here, it's small. I am easily moving around corners, whatever. If I have to push somebody away, that is fine. I can use this with one hand, both hands, but what I like about it is, I guess I have a light on this one. Sorry, blind you. But I have a light on this one. But say if you don't have a light, you can have a light here. And we'll talk about flashlight techniques. Why I do not like carrying a light like this. If you have a flashlight, some tips about it. Hold a light way out here. Have your gun here. There's a story about a state trooper who actually got his flashlight shot on a traffic stop because he held his light so far up away from him and they aim for that light. But 
handguns, I have one hand, small spaces from here to that wall over there is maybe, maybe 15, 20 feet. I'm pretty sure I can hit something with one hand. Yes, that drone's gonna be going 15, 20 feet. So if you have a light, if you wanna have a knife, say if you wanna have a cell phone, call 911, just let them hear everything, tell them what's going on. It's you have another hand to work with whatever you're doing. So if you fight somebody, try to take, push their weapon away, whatever, or strain, you can easily just stick that in your waistband, you're good. So pistols, yes, nine millimeter. And let's go down to magazine capacity. 19X, I'm running the 19 round mag in here. That is still plenty enough rounds for me to disengage the threat or threats. So I'm not really worried about that. If I wanted to have another, I do carry a separate 19 round mag on my nightstand. That's a little bit more easier to stick in your boxers, waistband, whatever. Pocket, you wanna do that, grab it. Depends on how much time you've got. Say if someone just busted in my front door and I can hear the steps going, I'm probably not grabbing another mag. I'm gonna grab this over the sub gun. It's already ready to go, one in the chamber. I'm ready to go, take out whatever I gotta do, 19 rounds, I can get it done. And also on the sub guns and handguns, mine are nine millimeter, over penetration. Your FMJ is also gonna go through, but if you're using the right grain and right ammo, you're gonna hit your target, that is gonna drop them and it's gonna stop inside them. So I'm not worried about over penetration. And also if you miss those hollow points, they're gonna hit that wall. Whether they make it all the way through depends on what you are using, but I feel more confident if I miss or shoot somebody, I am not gonna hit whatever's behind me and be upset that I just killed, I don't have kids but say killed a loved one or a friend or the case may be. So the nine millimeter, my choice for home defense. So guys, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you can, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed to me already. Comment any pointers or tips, any suggestions you have on your firearm of choice for home defense or any other videos you guys want to see because I have quite a bit of videos I am filming in the next month, two months that you guys have asked me for. I love the input. I love you guys are watching and asking me to do more stuff. I'm trying to do this, show everybody my opinion on firearms or gun stuff, whatever the case may be, I love it. If you want to help this channel just a little bit more, subscribe to me over on Patreon. That will help me bring more content to film for you guys. Because as you know, filming gun stuff is expensive. I can't just go buy a new gun every month and film it for you. I wish I could, but working law enforcement don't make much. And if you want to, go check, out, check me out on Instagram. I do post more frequently over there. But guys, thanks again for watching. And as always, have a good one.